Can the United Kingdom squad come out on top? I'm, I, I think it might be a clean sweep for the Germans. Uh, and, you know, it's just because they've got the advantage. In their heads, they're thinking, yeah, we're already 2-0 up. I think we can win this one. But, you know, you know, the plucky Brit may come around and they might win around. You never know. Keep in mind, Team Stone Mountain versus Team Neebs. Yeah. Team Stone Mountain looking fantastic. Neebs just needs to, you know, they need to pull it out of the bag. They need to get that win on the scoreboard. Dare I say he's got to pull a stone mountain, get the troops in line. Yep. Get everyone ready. You know, believe in. You know, advance to the objective. PTO, push the objective. <laughs> get the points on the board. Now it's time. I just heard someone just yell. Either Was that in the game or was that here? No, I'm almost certain that was someone in the crowd. I think it was AC Bongos actually yelled out loud. He has a very bellowing yell, you know? Just sound like real Very Spartan, commanding like, voice, yeah. Real 300-ish. Uh, here we go, folks. Into the gameplay. We're going to see some rifle gameplay now. Just look at the scope. Look how beautiful the weapon looks. It's one of those things I like to play with a sniper rifle quite a lot. It's a real, like, it's a, it's a roll where, like, if you get the kill, you feel like you really deserve it. And now when you look at those weapons, you think, wow, that's absolutely beautiful. Oh, the detail. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about detail. Look at that explosion. And you see right there the, yep. the ground deformation that happened when that tank blew up. It, it sent, you know, obviously just shaped the ground underneath. Oh, oh no! Bayonet no. charge! Oh, no! Got him! Got him! Oh, Jesse <laughs> Wellens, you poor thing! I'm so sorry. That was really cool to see, though. That was so entertaining. But you, what we were talking about is that the bayonet charge is like more than a sprint. You're like, you're going into a mad rage, like you, you're going to take this player down. And uh, right there, I think that's the first. Oh, oh, are we going for another one? No, oh, never mind. Oh, I didn't quite get there. Nah. Oh. Joke. But then you can see, you can see, right? It's a trade-off, isn't it? If you're yeah. going to push yourself, if you're going to go for that bayonet charge, you can't do anything else once you've committed. So there's yeah. a chance you could get taken out. I mean, he, ran, he runs up to the window. He tries to kill the guy. The guy gets away. And, uh, well, then, obviously, you need to uh, pay the price. Yeah, no matter, like, what terrain, you know, like, if you hit a wall, right, essentially, is what I'm trying to get. If you hit a wall, you're, you're stopped, right, mm -hmm. in your tracks. There's nothing you can do. Um, you slow down. You can't sprint again. You can't do anything. Um, I, I believe you could still uh, shoot your gun, though. I, I think you can still do that. You can still uh, make sure that happens to defend yourself. But any kind of mobility, though, becomes, you know, severely limited, which, of course is an issue if you're in the thick of things. If you're right in the yeah. heart of the battlefield and you go in for the charge, you pay the price if you don't get that one. And obviously, if you're going for the bayonet charge, you're focusing on that player, so you might forget that you can still fire you and maybe get yourself out of the situation, yeah. but okay. you're going for that player, so you're intent on getting them, and sometimes you just forget those things. Yeah, very true. Uh, you know, we, we covered a lot of uh, elements in the game here, um, and, and I know that you know the community, I'm sure, has a lot of questions about what you can and cannot do. Uh, I believe some uh, weapons also have uh, different firing options as well. I, I believe so. I think yeah, it was like well, a couple that I played. It was one that could do single shot, one that could do um, automatic fire. So yep. uh, there, some of the weapons, you know, mechanics that you guys are familiar with in, in, in other Battlefield games, you know, are certainly there for you to be able to switch out the weaponry and uh, or switch out the style of play, right? Whether you yep. want to go for a more steady shot or, uh, you know, maybe you want a little bit more ammunition, things like that. So Yeah, in the fray. Yep, get in there. These are some great Ooh. cinematic shots. They are really good. They show off the environment really well. And obviously, you can see this bit here looking like pristine countryside. I mean, yeah, we've got a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, destruction down here at the bottom. A little bottom. bit. That's quite a bit of destruction there. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, like, it was pristine when we started and like, you can bet your life that it's been completely leveled by the end of the round. So, Oh, boy. Well, here's Stone Mountain trying his best here. We're in the, this is one of the actual ruined villages. This is part of the map, already ruined as it goes along. And as you go to the other side, you've got the pristine countryside. So there's a nice variation on the same map, but you can always make pristine countryside completely flat if you want to. Yeah, it's just good visual, visualization, right? You know, you know that I'm in this particular portion of the map because it, it looks, you know, untouched by, by you know, the, the unfortunate... Here's the, uh, the destruction we're talking about. People using this uh, crater here as a little bit 
bit of cover. You see they drop right down and you can uh, you can take cover here behind the wall and then pop up if you want to. But those those explosions allow you to change the environment a little bit more. And right from above here. Oh, also a couple other things too. Um, there are certain structures that you can actually level completely yep. and uh, it, it will create a crater underneath as well. So for people who may be concerned about like, you know, the, the maybe a building completely flatlined and there's no cover, there's opportunity for that because of the ground deformation. Well. Yeah, I mean, it's almost like, if you think about it this way, the floorboards sort of crumble in on themselves and there's a bit of space underneath them. So if you crouch down, then there's that, still that tiny bit of wall that's been left behind and you're still able to take a bit of cover there. So you might be out in the middle of nowhere with the people firing down on you, but you've got the opportunity to take some cover and maybe give yourself a little bit more of a fighting chance. Oh, he just jumped out of that airplane he bailed, so he fast. He was not having any of that. But here we go now as uh, Team Stone Mountain trying to push forward, but here comes a tank here, Ooh. and they're going to get a huge hit on that tank, and the tank goes down. Big plays there for Stone Mountain and his crew, completely decimating that war machine. Good work there from them. Well, I mean, like you saw the power of the anti-tank grenade there. I mean, it looks like a small object in your hand.